That shit looks fake. Good <laughs> <laughs> luck with that, motherfucker. Yeah, okay, that's nice. There. Yeah, okay. Get pissed. Get pissed off now. There you go. <laughs> Get mad. Currently booking a flight to Miami. Yeah. yeah. Bro, bro, are you you think I can see that? So profit, bro. One eighty two, mate. Uh, I did my first one, so I did the uh, offer. It's all done. All right. So first things first. Before I get into the contents of this video i just want to say i apologize for the fact that i just didn't upload for like six days that's because school is now starting back up again it is term three and yeah i i've had a lot of the mind switch with how i want to prioritize my work because um i used to always focus on you know busy work when it wasn't the work that moved the needle forward for my own life and for my business so yeah more on that later um i have something that i have to confess and probably keep myself accountable to but before that i have a package so it has been a good week since that time and you know i thought i had at the time i thought i just didn't deserve it that like i just didn't do enough work and Maybe that's me beating up myself, but it's also me being transparent and, you know, being clear with you guys about how I feel with getting things. Because, you know, I'll talk about in another video about like my watch and how I felt the exact same way. And I still kind of do to this day. And, and for me, because of that, I never liked opening things that I didn't feel I deserved or that there was a you know a tangible reason why you know i deserve to have this because ultimately this is a reward this is a investment this is a you know this is something that makes me happy this is something that you know makes me feel like i've been rewarded i've been given you know it, it's just a reward i've said that <laughs> i've said that word multiple times now and that's how i feel when i don't deserve it i say you know I, i'm okay with pushing this off and actually focusing on the work that I need to do. So, and yeah, that's it. Without delaying it any longer, I might as well just open this right now. So obviously before I've had, you know, the G1 matte blacks for probably close to 12 months now. Um, and just never bought another one because really, I thought this was enough. When I make more money, then um, I will get the other colorways, the other pairs. Um, and obviously a lot of changes happened since then. By the way, if you guys have seen the Gadgie site, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what Alex did. He just completely fucked up the brand. I've lost all respect for it. But the G1s have stayed, and the G1s, while this is an investment, this is also a piece of history. So, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open this right now. Alright, here are the G1s. Let's unbox the first one. I'm sorry I don't have a desk on me. I'm just sitting on a chair and doing this really quickly. But alright, first box. Let's go ahead and do this. And uh, and I know I, I'm not doing another review, uh, but I might do a separate video, which is ultimately a uh, blue light blocker, uh, you know, gadget G1 review. I'm okay with doing that. But here you go. Look at that. All right, first box we have colorway oh there's another box never mind <laughs> lovely case again hopefully there isn't a misspelling like my last box that was uh really disappointing um okay here we go the infamous gadget case lovely smooth leather and velvet and yes they spelt it right thank god all right so the first colorway is the G1 crystals can't get these anymore. This is the last of the BLBs. Surprisingly, those sold out quicker than anything else. Um, 
So I was surprised. I thought the matte black was gonna sell out first, and the blue Havanas, because you know it, it's just demand for that all the time. But this is the pouch. Um, by the way, guys, if you bought one of these glasses and you want to keep it clean, the gadgets do not come with a cleaning cloth. So you, if you already own glasses and you clean those regularly, then you don't need to worry about it. But for most people, they're picking up a first pair and they've never worn glasses before, just like me. Luckily for me, I've had a few spare, you know, just cloths, um, cleaning cloths. Um, yeah, wow, this is beautiful. So there we go. That is G1 Crystal. Looks clean. And wow, the build quality is amazing. So, as the G1s, as the G1 Crystals, I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of this colorway but i just bought it for the sake that it was yet again the last of the blbs and yeah it's the last of this colorway so yeah nonetheless wow it looks <laughs> way better in person um but of course this is fresh out the box so yeah that is so yeah that is the g1 crystal let's go ahead and open up the other one all right This is so annoying. Why is the box like this? Alright, second box. Alright, so just making sure the lettering is right as well. So that is good. So here is the blue Havana. There we go. Alright. And well, first things first, I will say this color pops out like crazy. It doesn't really catch well on camera, but the blue accents is just beautiful. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I not never thought I was a fan of like Blue Havana, but so yeah, that is the Blue Havana. Yes, unfortunately the blue accents don't really catch up on camera but yeah this is stunning i i think this is like second place to uh obviously my uh matte blacks so so yeah that has been my little gadget unboxing this has been the blue havana as you can see right there and the g1 crystal glad to add these uh to my collection so so yeah that has been my little gadget unboxing if you're wondering where to get these classes from, you can go to gadget.com. Um, that's where they sell them. Unfortunately, though, with the BLBs, which is the blue light blockers, they no longer sell those. They're moving on to the summer capsule with uh, their sunglasses, which most of them, the new ones that Alex designed, um, are fucking horrendous. And unfortunately, if you want to buy any of these, again, if you ever want to cop your first pair or another pair, Unfortunately, you're going to have to go to a reseller. Um, it is what it is. Um, so this is the last of its kind. And uh, and uh, you probably won't be able to get it anymore because they've moved manufacturers and suppliers. So, And basically that made up my motivations to buy uh, the other two colorways. So aside from that, um, one thing to note is I've done recaps before, check up recaps for the month. Um, I haven't done it for this month, so I may put that out by like next month or ever so after a few more videos I have in mind. One thing that I want to point out is I should definitely have shown uh, at the start of my video, um, like these bl the blinking lights on my laptop. What that is, is actually my charger is starting to break. My charger is literally breaking at the moment, and whenever I load too many applications or load too much stuff it basically starts to overrun or override the charger and it ends up blinking like that and lagging my computer for a little bit so basically what i'm trying to say is my computer is getting fucking old um by the way the laptop is the laptop model is like 10 years old so granted um with transporting around and you know bending the coil to you know <laughs> to wrap it up um, put it in my bag every day 
and doing that has put a lot of strain on it and unfortunately I won't be able to run as efficiently or as much applications as I usually do. How's this apply to you guys? Just really briefly, it just means that I will have to try less in my videos and that my quality is capped strictly just by the quality of my equipment. Yet again, it's not that good. Um, and right now I don't have the money to uh, buy a new one. So it is what it is, but hopefully that means, um, you know, maybe it's a blessing or a curse. It'll get me to focus on my business more. And second off, um, allow me to put less strain on my computer. So just wanted to get that out of the way for you guys. Um, I felt it was important because I really depend on everything with my laptop. So it's important that I uh, share this with you guys and be transparent. So, so yeah, aside from that, it is 5.20, almost 5.25. I'm going to try and make this a little short vlog um, and show you guys what I have been recently working on. So I have a small, I'm going to try and make a small, but a small confession to make. Over the past six months, obviously I have joined DL and I have, for the record, been in DL for six months now. That means at this point, you know, based on the DL's tiering ranking system, I am a prince, um, in which by then I would have had monthly calls with Iman, access to basically all the programs that you would kind of need and have and most importantly i've been in this group and this wonderful community i will say for six months you know going on the coaching calls talking with people um and connecting with other people and you know solidifying my accountability partnerships so this year has been great you know for my connections for my you know maybe mental well-being maybe for my consolidation on what i'm doing but there's one thing that I would say I've been lacking on and that I genuinely just need to address. And that is about my business. I always said that I, I probably said before that, oh, I was working on my copywriting. I was working on my, um, my copywriting protocol. I think I mentioned that before. That is something where I simply just organized all the work and did a lot of brainstorming onto like, you know, basically all the work that I did, all the note taking that I did for Pen to Profit, um, which is a uh, copywriting program inside of Digital Launchpad. I took notes and I transferred it over there. I distilled down what did I actually need. And I think coming up to this point where it's now July, it's the seventh month of the year, I realized I've been doing busy work this entire time and I've been getting nowhere and I've been unfortunately I haven't even set up my copywriting NSO which is niche service offer and by the way if you guys don't understand this and you don't understand what I'm talking about you don't understand um, kind of what I am trying to allude to what I'm saying is like the NSO thing should have been set up the NSO the niche service offer these are things I shouldn't have figured out way before in month three when I completed Pen to Profit. I shouldn't have started outreach by then, which is reaching out to clients. I shouldn't have had NSO down and started doing work and started, you know, getting paid, started reaching out to people, started getting experience under my belt. And this is something that I just need to keep myself accountable to for you guys and you know, to be transparent with you guys, is the fact that I've been thinking about it, I've been wasting my time. I've been really lazy. And I need to be honest with myself and you guys because this is serious. It's been seven months of the year and I still am yet to reach out to one person, which is the whole fucking point of starting the business in the first place and actually getting it up. So at this point, I'm... You know, listen, I, I'm sorry if you're disappointed in me right now. And, you know, you had high hopes for me when you made this channel, when I made this channel. And I know I've, from hearing this, I've probably let you down if you understand what I'm doing. And you're, you're actually working beside me, you know, your accountability partner of mine, or you've talked to me before. And 
you know, you know, I'm a prince. I, I feel like I've let down the community in a way, and you know, I've made that made a made a promise in a way now to realign my work, readjust my work, and readjust my sales towards actually prioritizing that. Hence, why um, these past couple of days the frequency has kind of slowed down, and yeah, it's it's just been slowing down because I've been focusing on the things which really move the needle and it. And it hurts to say that when, you know, I want to keep up this channel as well, you know, and I've, I, even a part of, you know, my revenue, my business is also now with the channel because, you know, I'm doing affiliate marketing and all that. And I don't run any other accounts. I don't do any um, social media accounts. I get my conversions and I get my traffic purely from, this channel so in that case you know that doesn't take a lot of work but my copywriting is my main business and yeah i haven't even gone off the ground and it's been six months so i hope you can understand in my position um that yeah i i need to get my shit together um and i've probably said that before but my oh my um but yeah i i guess to kind of wrap up this video i just want to show you guys exactly in detail what I'm working on to be transparent to be honest because that's the whole purpose of this channel you know to document my journey to be honest to be an open book um and uh, yeah so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm working on if you don't get it you don't get it um it is what it is but basically the niche um the NSO which is a niche service offer is the niche which is the market that you're going to serve to so that could be construction or that could be fitness. The service is basically the service you're going to provide to businesses. So that could be email marketing. That could be generating appointments for the business. That could be writing the emails, which is basically what I'm doing as a part of copywriting. And then your offer is basically bringing those two together, understanding what the market wants, what the niche wants, and then fitting your service into that. And then that's when you can start to do uh, your outreach, set up your systems, etc., and you know, get that first client, um, you know, and start actually building a real agency. So, yeah, um, listen, I'm, I'm just, I, I can't tell how you feel um, right now, but I just know right now, I just know for me, I, I'm extremely disappointed. I've been in here for six months and I haven't made as much progress. No, I've, I've made as much progress as someone who's a fucking apprentice or a craftsman which is like month one or month two and so long as they've started outreach they're ahead of me so without any more babbling on i'm just going to show you guys what i'm working on this person i got to hand this down to is of course iman um iman has recently picked up the channel um with his extended channel it's not like the you know the main channel where it's all uh general stuff and you know it sounds really repetitive but you know, I know the business, I, I understand, and he's talked about it before on the monthly calls, so I can understand and I can emphasize with him. But on this channel, this is nitty-gritty business stuff, and you don't joke, he doesn't joke around, and he doesn't joke around when it comes to this channel. So, basically, as you can see here, he's uploaded a couple videos in the past month. Um, before then, he has not been uploading for a whole year, which... I don't know, it feels like forever. Um, but yeah, just lucky and really fortunate timing because he dropped videos like this. Um, how to close clients for your SMMA. Casual video here. But really the important stuff is stuff like, you know, how to do your outreach. How to find the most profitable niches that you can do. Picking a service. Doing, you know, how to actually onboard and actually keep clients, you know, because it simply just costs more. Um, to get another client than to just simply keep, you know, an existing one. Next one is a general one, but really, yet again, just fucking concise and deep. You know, every tool you need, talks about Zoom, etc., all that stuff. You know, this is the same thing with this one. Um, and then a recent one was this, which is about crafting an offer. Um, and yeah, I've, that is what I'm currently working on at the moment.
So yeah, what I do is I take the resources from this channel specifically. I get all the plug and plays, all the resources, and instead of just hoarding them, which is a big problem for me, I actually use them and I have been using them. I've been using the uh, Miro boards um, and the Flozy documents and the plug and plays. I am here on my mirror. Just excuse me. I know it kind of looks like a piss color, but it is just, it's uh, six o'clock now. So the uh, orange filter light came on. Um, so don't mind that. But as you can see here, there are a few things um, that are related to these videos right here. Um, and it's simply, you know, once you opt in, you get access to mirror boards about yet again, um, you know, map to 20k a month, agency sales breakdown. So that is related to, uh, where is it? This video, how to close clients, um, agency stages, uh, the eight step cold outreach, which yet again is from here from that video. Um, a few other plug and plays uh, from being in DL, being on the sales calls, um, such as this niche research questionnaire, um, this offer blueprint, and there was another one like an agency accelerator uh, presentation. With this stuff, I am able to create my copywriting NSO, where basically I just work through. And basically with all that stuff, um, and all these tools, I work through, you know, and I actually use the exercise. I do the exercises and I write down, you know, what is, you know, for, for something like niche selection and, you know, doing research, you know, what is the industry I'm going to work in? What is the vertical within that industry? And what is the sector within that vertical? Um, and then what are key factors? What is revenue? What's the profit margins? What's the product ticket? You know, reading off here, what's the TAM, the total addressable market? You know, basically, which is the market size, um, and what is the saturation? You know, what's its sophistication levels? All this stuff, I write it down in this document, and I'm starting to build out um, a genuine plan that I will move towards. Um, including within that document, I'm just brainstorming what do I actually need to set up? You know, stuff like the G Suite, so stuff like a proper domain, warming the emails if I ever want to do that, and using a professional account on Instagram if I want to do outreach. I know this sounds like a lot of stuff. But truthfully, it is, I, I don't really know what else to say except the fact that it's, it's simple when you get, get it down and you understand, you know, what is at least just what's the next step that you need to do. You don't need to worry about, you know, you have to fucking automate your entire business. You can worry about that when you're making, you know, over 10k a month and you have contractors and you have, you know, proper employees and systems in place and all that. Um, and you need to get that in place to scale. But when you're just a small player, you know, you can bootstrap a lot of this stuff. You can, you know, bootstrap as in just kind of just like you can use free methods. You can cut corners here and there just to get your business off the ground. And then when you can get that first client, the whole strategy is that usually with that first client, however much you charge, and hopefully it's a decent chunk, um, essentially after you can get that client to successfully pay you and you know you do the service and you meet the guarantees and you meet the outcomes then you can start using that money to reinvest all back into the software so you can start to actually scale and make sure you know you get more set more more clients more people in the pipeline and can actually handle more clients and that is simply and that in essence is basically the name of the game when you're a beginner so yeah i guess that's basically what I'm working on. It's a pretty heavy document, but it's a document that I'm going to need to do. It's a theory, kind of like a little business plan that I need to do before I do anything else. But luckily I'm just wrapping it up. Um, I know within a couple days on the external channel, uh, if you have watched the latest video on uh, how to craft a SMMA offer, he is going to drop a video about guarantees. Luckily, I think I have a general idea, so I'm just going to still start before then. Um, and you know, just get the ball rolling, which I, yet again, I should have done within, you know, probably, probably about three months ago, but, uh, yeah, disappointing. I know it's disappointing. I hope you guys can understand me and hope you can, uh, uh, forgive me for this, but yeah, I've been, uh, falling behind in business and I need to start actually making progress. Yeah, so yeah, that is basically what I'm working on. That's basically what's happened so far.
if there's any tip, if there's any piece of advice I want you guys to take from this is to just start. You know, all I did was just busy work, all of this procrastination bullshit and trying to say, you know, oh, I'm working on my copy protocol and I'm getting my notes together. And because I said that, people left me alone for a little bit until eventually I came to my own realization. And, you know, I talked with other people that like, like, what the fuck am I doing? I haven't even sent a single outreach message. That is like it. I, I feel embarrassed to say that um in this video I, f I feel i feel embarrassed to have to confess to that but that's that's what it is that's the truth so if there's any piece of advice i want to give to you guys it's just to start if you want to work on developing your your niche your service your offer i want you to you know whenever you get resources actually fucking use them and a recommendation is like to stop watching the honestly to stop watching the main Iman Gurji channel treat that as entertainment but if you really want to get into the business stuff you want to get up your you want to find your niche you want to find your service you want to find your offer and you want to understand the nitty-gritty of agency and you know how to build an agency up and how to actually close clients how to do outreach go on to the Iman go on to Iman's extended channel and just watch that that is pure nitty gritty fucking agency stuff there's no fucking fancy animations and this and that it is pure business and that is it so if you're really serious about doing business i recommend i implore you to explore the resources from that video and actually apply it that is if you need it and you're a beginner and you're trying to get your agency off the ground you're trying to get your service off the ground and you're just trying to start making a you know first bit of money online that is why i recommend you do you know as i am um but obviously don't do busy work don't procrastinate and say you're doing this and that if you're not actually moving the business forward um by actually doing outreach or actually getting your business together and you have a tangible deadline to do to do that if you're not doing all of those things then you're doing busy work and by the way another thing i want to point out is that watching and learning a module and doing all that stuff as i've you know said a lot of times in my videos that does not count as work that is not you working on your business that is you just learning but not applying you're just note taking and you're watching it whatever it is actually work on the thing that you want to be your main business you know it's unfortunate that i didn't prioritize my copywriting and I may have had a client by now. Um, and it's also shameful to say that my first bit of money literally came from affiliate marketing. As truthful as that is, I probably couldn't have gotten a client by then and not had to say this now in this video at this very moment. But yeah, it's it's a mistake that I'm, I've learned from and I'm going to move forward just a little bit more sharper. So... I hope you guys can understand me. That's the end of the video. Um, See, so yeah, I didn't really didn't have anything else for today. Unbox some G ones. July recap coming soon. Um, you know, changing my changing my priority of work. Uh, my laptop charger breaking, and uh, yeah, the fact that I'm back to school. So yeah, unfortunately, everything will slow down a little bit more. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any comments, any feedback, let me know down below. I know this video is a bit more scrappy and a little bit more, um, you know, a, a bit of a you know, confession on my part. But um, yeah, if you have any thoughts, any, any pieces of advice you want to give me to move forward with my business or content creation better or, you know, if maybe affiliate marketing, then, you know, go ahead and let me know. And aside from that, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Join me on documenting this channel and this journey. And uh, yeah, big plans for this year. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. And I will see you later.